Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, it's a pleasure to meet in this virtual space with you and other leaders from many countries representing a wide range of disciplines. I want to first of all thank President Joseph Biden for inviting my country to participate in the Summit for Democracy and for the opportunity offered me to deliver some brief remarks. President Abraham Lincoln put it aptly, democracy is government of the people, by the people, for the people, and believe me when I say that is not a mere coincidence that my party campaigned on, now in government, is guided by the mandates putting people first. I will start by stating that the five months old government administration, which I have the distinct privilege to lead, came into office with a democratic process of free and fair elections. On that important day, 26 July 2021, the people of St. Lucia exercised their constitutional rights and fulfilled their civic duty to elect the government of their choice from among competing political entities. I can also say that from universal other suffrage in 1951, the Salusian people have consistently supported all the universal principles, beliefs, and values on which true and lasting democracy is anchored. My administration understands the natural inclination of people, irrespective of race, class, creed, or religion, to be free to live in peace, love, and dignity. It is our view that democracy is as much a psychological process as it is an economic or judicial process. People need to have choices and they must be free to make their own decisions. We believe and have demonstrated by our conduct that the electoral framework should truly reflect the will of the people. We accept and support the enduring need for freedom of expression and therefore espouse the virtues of press freedom and the independence of the judiciary from any interference in the dispensation of justice. My administration strongly rejects corruption in all aspects of life, especially in the running of government. We abhor the abuse of power by those in authority, irrespective of political persuasion. In our contract with the people, we pledge to govern our country by the principles of inclusiveness, equity, strictly underpinned by the principles of good government. Our governance mantra, putting people first, is a pledge to the people of St. Lucia by my government to ensure that democracy will improve their quality of life and create an environment for the holistic development of all citizens, regardless of race, color, creed, or sexual orientation. The Governor of St. Lucia supports all efforts aimed at the promotion and protection of the rights of the citizens and remains committed to its obligations under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and related international conventions of which St. Lucia is a signatory. The Constitution of St. Lucia promotes and protects the human rights, non-discrimination, and fundamental freedoms of all persons and the preservation of the rule of law. It is our declared commitment to make significant changes to our statutes and to our constitution, to strengthen our democratic institutions, expand human rights, and to mitigate against future abuse of power by those who are so inclined to do so. We have signaled our clear intention to fight corruption by imposing strict measures to avoid conflict of interest in decision-making in public institutions. We welcome this summit and are happy to engage in dialogue with other countries on the themes for discussion. We believe that the goals of this summit are laudable. By coming together to discuss the many challenges that confront us, we are encouraged to undertake periodic initiatives to strengthen, deepen, and protect our democracy. Not only do we need to build on our democratic traditions, but we must be constantly vigilant to avoid erosion of the progress made thus far over the many years of building our democratic institutions. Democracy has become our cherished way of life, which cannot be replaced by any other system of governance. Mr. President, St. Lucia stands with the rest of the region in the promotion of democracy for the sustainable development of our economies. Democracy is the most effective and sustain sustainable route to stability, recovery, and prosperity of any country. St. Lucia remains steadfast in its efforts in promoting peaceful, prosperous, and a democratic future. As I conclude, I want to assure this forum that the government of St. Lucia is committed 
to influencing and shaping the main priority areas of the broad field of democracy. A strengthened electoral framework, constitutional reforms, the judiciary, parliaments, political parties, and civil society actors. The role of the media, the political participation and representation of women, the engagement of youth, and measures aimed at addressing all forms of democratic inclusion. I wish this summit for democracy every possible success, and I thank you.